What's up guys? Welcome back. We are in day nine, phase four. Today is our favorite day again, leg day. I'm kidding. But uh, <laughs> on leg day, we're gonna be working on 100 body, 100, 100 body weight squats as a warm up. Very good warm up. Really, really go ahead and engage the quads, get the blood flowing. So you don't have to really do much stretching today or, uh, or any type of warm ups. But 100 body weight squats to get going, as many sets as it takes. Um, if you can handle it, go all the way through one set. Um, afterwards, we're gonna go into barbell crab walks, and then we're gonna do some exercises for our hams, and then finish off with some functional. So Dan's gonna get us started off on the body weight squats. And uh, remember again, again, rest times are one minute. Uh, no active rest today. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right, you you keep counting. <laughs> Number get too high, so so I think Dan's probably gonna go all the way through. So if you can go all the way through, um, if not, a couple sets isn't too bad either. Afterwards, your legs are gonna really really burn, and those crab walks are gonna be very tough. So when you're doing your crab walks, that's really, really where you're gonna really go ahead and stress the, stress the quads because we're gonna be knocking out five sets. So after we do these, 20, these 100 reps, we'll do five sets of either 20 yards on the crab walks or you can do five sets of 20 repetition or 20 steps or reps, uh, depending on if you have the room or not. What set? You, what uh, what rep you at? Eighty five. Eighty five. He's going for it all the way. You notice, even though Dan is at eighty five, he's still getting a real good range of motion. Okay. So now we're starting the rest time. I'm gonna give Dan sixty seconds of rest, and then we're gonna go right into those barbell crab walks. So we're going for 20 reps. These are really, really tough because doing regular squats is, you know, it's a little challenging, it's a little tough, but when you do them with this movement like this, it's really, really tough. So anytime when you do an exercise to where you really have to go ahead and use a lot of your body. Key thing is to keep your core engaged. Tighten your abs, keep your lower back really stiff, and stay tight throughout the whole exercise, throughout the whole movement. All right, good job. So, we'll go ahead and set our time again for the 60 seconds. So, on the barbell crab walks, you need to do five sets. It's gonna be tough at the end. You still wanna try to get out 20 reps, um, if you can't get out 20 reps at the very end because you're totally exhausted, you know, do as many as you can. But try to knock out that 20. So no matter what though, uh, I wouldn't like it if you lower the weight, so keep the weight the same. Just try to hit that rep range. Uh, if you fall a little short of it, no problem. So next thing we're going to go into is leg extension. And uh, we'll go ahead and take you to the gym to do the leg extension. We're going to do one giant drop set and afterwards, We'll come back here, we'll finish the rest of the exercises. Let's go ahead and do those leg extensions. One set, uh, one drop set. So it's gonna be a pretty big set because we're gonna go ahead and do five drops, okay? So again, five drops basically means you're gonna start off with a weight that's very heavy, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and do as many as we can. And then afterwards, we're gonna go ahead and drop it either about one to two plates. And we're gonna go ahead and do as many as we can and then keep dropping it down. The rep range you want to stay around is going to be anywhere from about eight to about nine on the first set. And afterwards, pretty much as you drop as many as you can. Let's do it. Okay, so we'll start off at about 110. Uh, it's actually a little light here. Okay. All right, this feels about right. Two. Six, 
seven, eight, nine. Let's do one more, 10. Let's drop down to here. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. We'll drop two plates again. Drop two plates again. My legs are on fire now. Make sure to keep your toes up the whole time. Again, this is why we do a drop set. Let's drop one more. Okay, so this is why drop sets are very effective because you do one set, but it's pretty much like five mini sets in one non-stop. So that's it for our leg extension. Let's move on to the next one. All right guys, welcome back. We're gonna now go ahead and do our dumbbell hamstring curls and then we're gonna superset that with one leg toe touch. We're aiming for 12 reps each on the one leg toe touch. You're gonna do 12 reps on each leg. So 24 reps total. We're using a decline bench. I went ahead and raised up my decline bench by a little bit to give me a little more difficulty. Always keep your knees together. Come all the way down, squeeze at the top. Now you can see the form to hold these dumbbells is a little bit tricky. You can see how Mike uh, points his toes back at the top so that he doesn't drop the dumbbell. Again, you can see how he contracts the hamstrings in a slow and controlled way, no jerking. And you can also see how he doesn't slam his feet down at the end. And these are going to be pretty tough after the, uh, the crab walks and the body weight squats too. Oh yeah. Okay. So, now let's go ahead and do our one-legged toe touches on each leg. So you can hold on to something if you like, or you can just do it uh, without anything. You see the way Mike does this uh, without holding on to anything, the more advanced way. Uh, very good for building your balance, especially when your legs are tired. Uh, really helps your mental focus as well if you can balance doing something like this after being tired. It takes a little practice, especially after you do those, the, your stability muscles are almost gone. Notice how Mike is staying controlled even though he's tired, bending the leg and keeping his back flat. And again, if you want to do it without weight, you can sometimes go ahead and cheat a little bit and put your feet in back. So let me do a few more reps and show you how it goes. So when you're coming down, if you can't keep your leg up, you can put your leg in the back and touch your toes like this. So this will kind of help you uh, self-spot yourself instead of holding on to something. So 12 reps on each leg, that completes that one superset. And we want to go ahead and do five sets of supersets on that. So 20 seconds each, six sets total. We're resting 20 seconds between sets. Ready? Yep. Go. And you notice that I'm not slamming my feet. I'm not going like this. Right? I'm controlling it and landing softly. So this way you can really engage your core and your abs. Time. And you can see here how Mike holds for a second at the top. Really contracts that core. Five seconds. 
time. Okay, so that concludes day nine. Make sure to do six sets of those, and uh, you're gonna rest 20 seconds between those supersets on the functional. We'll see you on day 10.